maybe it's just a teeny static bulb. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 Pokemon battles where they took zero damage. Victory is now mine! Yes. Yes, for this list, we'll be looking at the most one-sided victories in the entire Pokemon anime. Did we miss any embarrassing beatdowns? Let us know in those comments below. Hey, Mojoholics. For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com play. Number 10, Ash vs. Casey. Every trainer has to start somewhere, but despite that, Ash didn't hold back one bit when the newbie Casey challenged him to a three-on-three. -three. Ash is gonna battle her with Charizard! I think this game's gonna be a shut-up! The three-part is really just a technicality, though. Ash's Charizard could have won this in his sleep. In fact, he pretty much does. Casey's first two Pokemon bounce right off his stomach without any fanfare. Casey, maybe you better quit. My grandpa says it ain't over till it's over, and this match is a long way from over! She saves her best for last, but since her ace is a grass type, Chikorita, you can imagine how that went. The most embarrassing part of this match isn't that Casey failed to hurt Charizard, it's that Ash's fire type clinched the win without even taking a single step. Ugh, I can't believe it was a total shutout! Chikorita, return! Number 9, Ash vs. Hop. Pikachu's delivered a few shocking conclusions in his day, but this one might just take the cake. After all, Hop strolled up to Ash eager, confident, and ready to fight. I wonder if he knows that you're a member of the Masters 8. I heard that! Even though he opened up with a mere Wooloo, his pride suggested that this would be a good match. The battle began, Pikachu made the first move, and just like that, Hop and his Wooloo were KO'd. <laughs> the fight was over before the poor rookie even had a chance to react. Then again, it's hard to feel too bad for him considering he's the one who decided to challenge Ash in the first place. A one-hit win, naturally! Now I totally see why my brother likes you! Number 8, Ash vs. Cassandra. Just this one, since it's for a good cause, we're gonna let Paris win, okay? Pika? Let's make one thing very clear. Cassandra's Paris didn't just lose any old fights. No, it lost a match that Ash and Pikachu were actively trying to throw. It was all a convoluted scheme to give the lowly bug type some confidence, but it majorly backfired when even Pikachu's wimpiest Thunderbolts still shocked it into oblivion. Paris didn't even try to fight back either. Oh no! Hey, that wasn't fair! But it was humiliating. What a pathetic parrot. To make matters worse, Ash sent out his disobedient Charmeleon for round two. But with a single flamethrower, the second match ended even quicker than the first. It's a wonder how Paris's ego ever bounced back from this one-two punch of defeat. Number 7, Ash vs. Sabrina. At first, a lone Abra doesn't seem all that intimidating. I don't get it! Nobody sends a sleeping Pokemon into a match! Maybe she's making fun of me! But as Ash soon learned, Sabrina didn't earn the title of gym leader for nothing. Right from the start, Abra's teleportation ability makes a joke out of Pikachu's attacks. And that's before it evolves. Halfway through, Sabrina triggers Abra's evolution into Kadabra. Then the newly grown psychic type proceeds to use Pikachu's own attack to shock him into submission. It's bad enough to cleanly lose to a gym battle, let alone at the hands of your own techniques. Suffice it to say, Ash's crippling loss left a wound that not even Nurse Joy could fully fix. That's it! Stop the match! <gasps> Pikachu! Are you alright? Number 6, Ash vs Whitney. Officially, Whitney has three Pokemon on her team, but really her entire victory hinges upon just one partner, more specifically on one move. New tank, use rollout attack! Yeah! 
See, after losing her first two Mons to Ash, Whitney brought out Miltank to steamroll the competition. And that's exactly what it did. Ash's exhausted Cyndaquil went down first. Then Totodile tried to slow it down with a water gun, but it eventually fell to the wayside too. Be careful, Ash. My Miltank's rollout gets stronger and stronger as it rolls. Maybe I... Pikachu hit the field last, but by then, not even a full-powered Thunderbolt could stop Miltank's rollouts. Instead, it barreled right through Ash's hopes, and all without taking so much as a scratch. Talk about utter humiliation. Long as she has Miltank, there's no reason to have a rematch. Yeah, they seem pretty unbeatable. Hmm. Number 5. Ash vs. AJ Let's get started then. Say true, go! By the time he got his second badge, Ash had assembled a pretty strong team of Pokemon. Not that it mattered when he challenged AJ. The trainer had some less than charitable methods of training his partners. It's not exactly recommended, but the results are hard to deny. Too bad Sandshrew can't fly. Despite facing two airborne opponents, it only took AJ Sandshrew a single blow each to secure the win. His performance was so commanding, Pikachu refused to step into the ring at all. Come on, Pikachu, you've got to help your friends! Although considering how well Sandshrew fared against Pidgeotto and Butterfree, Pikachu probably wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway. Number 4, Ash vs. Mirror Serena Prepare yourselves for a one-on-one -on -one Pokemon battle and begin! Whether he's from their world or not, Ash and his Froakie are not to be taken lightly. Unfortunately, this mirrored version of Serena had to learn that lesson on the battlefield. Sure, you could argue that her Fennekin had an incredibly bad type matchup against the water starter, but that doesn't exactly matter when Serena's partner couldn't even land a hit at all. Froakie's double team made him impossible to pin down, all the while Fennekin was a sitting fox. Bubble! As if to really rub it in, Froakie finished the job with a measly bubble attack. The normal Serena isn't exactly winning any regional leagues, but at least she puts up a better fight than this one. I would never lose to the Ash I know, so I have to. I guess you're Ash from another world. Number 3. All of Team Rocket's Fights Jesse, James, and Meowth had a really nasty habit of being blasted off again. Too late, but not for the fireworks. But like a moth into a flame, they kept coming back for more. You would think that over the years, they'd come up with some better schemes, or at the very least, train their Pokemon a little bit more. Instead, Jesse and James's partners usually get thunderbolted into ashes right along with them, oftentimes without even landing an attack. Still, you've got to give Team Rocket some credits. Even though they received a lot more pain than they doled out, Jesse, James, and Meowth always persevere. At least until they inevitably get blasted off again. We're blasting, blasting off again! again! Number 2, Pikachu vs. Raichu Use the strategy we planned, Pikachu! You can do it! A strategy? So they've been planning a new way to lose. This rematch was so much more than a standard gym battle. It was a fight for Pikachu's pride. He had to prove that he could fight without evolving, and thankfully, he did it in positively electrifying fashion. Rather than trying to compete with Raichu's overbearing strength, Ash's partner used its superior speed to literally run circles around the competition. Hey, what? Yeah. All, All right. right! Do it, Pikachu! Lieutenant Surge's ace got dizzy just by looking at him, never mind trying to land an attack. As a matter of fact, the only thing quicker than Pikachu is how fast this fight wrapped up. After their first match ended in brutal defeat, it's incredibly satisfying to see Ash so handily win round two. You should be proud. You and your Pikachu really fought good together. Thanks. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mark vs Bellsprout No matter what, you can't say Jeanette's Bellsprout didn't have some serious moves. It danced through all of Ash's team like they were nothing. Well, all of them except for Muck. Huh, I don't know what surprises me more, the fact that he's using Muck or the fact that he thought ahead. Ash's poison type had a body made of sludge, and boy, did it know how to use it. Bellsprout's limber movements had no effect on Muck, and in return, Ash's Pokemon delivered a body slam the grass type will never forget. <gasps> Bellsprout! Okay, Muck, time for a body slam attack! <laughs> Bellsprout didn't give up, but even fighting from the inside, its attacks didn't do a thing. In the end, Muck took the victory with nothing more than a little indigestion to show for it. Bellsprout. Bellsprout is out of the match, and the fourth round victory goes to Green Trainer Ash Ketchum. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.